hello guys today i am here to show you how to install uh, additional domain controller on windows server 2008 r2 version so last started uh, by login or uh, install windows server 2008 machine and uh, first we will configure the IP address and DNS address for this machine so let's open ncpa.cpl local area network connection uh, it's not configured yet so we will configure the IP address let's remove the IPv6 and go to the properties for IPv4 enter the IP address uh, a static IP address for this machine subnet mask default gateway and in the last we will enter the default DNS server So I am here uh, entered an incorrect default gateway to test what happens. Yeah, it's giving an error. So we will correct the default gateway. Okay, IP is configured for this machine. Now we will run DC promo. It's checking if actuality domain services binaries are installed already. If not, then it will install them. It will take few minutes. As I said, binaries are not installed so it will install the binaries first it will take couple of minutes so we will have to wait for that uh, I, I will tell you that I already have a domain uva.com so uh, we can either enter the IP address of the domain name when installing the active directory so, so here we are installing an existing forest a domain controller to an existing domain here we enter uh, the domain name that is uva.com uh, and we will also enter the administrator password here to authenticate the process uva administrator the password and click on ok click on next It's examining the directory forest. Oh, DNS domain name is not typed correctly. Here is the point. It is unable to resolve the domain name. Do you know guys why it is happening? It's happening because when I was entering the DNS IP it was incorrect. So 
now I will enter the correct TNS IP I will go again to the network connection and I will correct the DNS IP that is 141 for this infrastructure and uh, now I will continue yeah now it's able to resolve the name for its root domain and default site name click on next now we are not installing DNS server on this machine because it is already configured on our primary domain controller we are only installing the uh, global catalog server now it's examining the DNS configuration asking for the database folders uh, it, it will take the default location and uh, now we will enter a password for administrator here we can see that what roles you have installed that uh, as I have installed only the global catalog server role and uh, and it will also it also shows the uh, database folder details now file folder and sys volume folder details now it's installing the active directory and uh, <coughs> we also click on the option to reboot on completion once the completion finish the machine will start restart automatically So we are almost done to install uh, additional domain controller on Windows Server 2008 machine. It will restart now and we will log in with a domain administrator account on this machine. Now it's stopping that level service. You can also see the messages coming on the front window. It shows what is step, what is step active direct installation result is performing on your machine. Now it's setting down and it will take some time to come up it again and it's booting again. applying computer settings now 
for the it will prepare your desktop so <laughs> it will take again some time taking much time because uh, I have only 2 GB RAM on this virtual machine don't bother I'm sure it will finish the installation So oh, now window has come up and uh, we, are, we will enter the administrator password enter It's preparing the desktop. Now we will check the Active Directory has been installed or not. So we will go to the Start Administ and then Administrative Tool and now uh, Active Directory Domain and Trust. Now we can see the domain uva.com is here and we can check in the properties the forest domain level forest functional level and domain functional level I am sorry yeah so we have done the installation thank you guys for watching the video